Hi, I'm Dave. Hey, I'm Dylan. And together we beat Sam Press. Yeah, so basically we're gearing up to launch what's going to be like my personal, you know, fourth EP. But it feels like the first one all over again because for the first time we're recording as a bit of a duo. Like we were playing soccer the one day and I, I was fortunate enough to get booked for CTMF. And I've seen Dylan play guitar a couple of like jazz jam sessions and stuff like that. So I just invited him to come and play and it, it went really well. So we decided, we, we start, started getting booked a bit more. We got to go to Joe together and it went really well for all there. So we just decided to actually sit down and start recording some music because up until like this release, everything that we've played, more or less, um, I produced and then Dylan just played over it. But now what makes this one what it is, is the fact that Dylan and I actually sat down and collaborated for the most part on, on four of the songs. Yeah. I mean Dave, um, Dave had been looking to get more, more of sort of a studied or chordal approach into his, into his music, which I was, um, and I'd really been looking to collaborate with someone like Dave. So it really, both of what we were looking for to do at the time, like really connected at a sort of very opportune moment. And I said, yeah, let's let's play CTMF. And I thought it would be a one-off gig. But then we just started jamming more and collaborating. And I had such a good time yes. playing with Dave. But um, I think that's here we the, are now. That's the most important thing. Like we really, we really en enjoyed it. And then apparently like when we play, it looks like we've known each other for like a very long time or we've been playing for long with like it. We really haven't. <laughs> you really haven't, but it, it, it feels good, and that's and that's that's the most important thing I think. Like it's all about the feel. That's what got me this far. And our sound, like that we're starting to develop, we, we really want to just fuse a sort of soulful, jazzy guitar sound with vocals into uh, Dave's sort of really musical hip hop sound, and just sort of the marriage of those two ideas is really what we're trying to get across at the yeah. moment. And we've been putting in, Dave's encouraged me to start singing. So we're putting <laughs> some sneaky vocals in there also. But yeah, you'll have to check that out. Yeah, I'm like, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's an exciting time because, like, I, right now, like, we still, it's, it's growing, but we still, like, small time. And we're getting there, but right now, I don't even know what, what B Tetris is. So I'm, I'm really, I'm really curious to see what, what we're gonna end up making, but like it's been pretty interesting. Like in my in my mind, I initially thought we were probably gonna make like um, straight like beats, <laughs> you know, with, with yeah, just straight jazz influence, like hip hop beats. But like we've just been experimenting with like a lot of different sounds, like like a bit of a mix between R and B and trap music. So it's like the soulful stuff with just a a more aggressive undertone and that's what we've just naturally been doing but like we're trying other ideas essentially for me what beats sound press is we're just really chasing a sound that we both really like that's come together quite organically like as dave said that it wasn't really a blueprint or a game plan to um, what we're doing it was just like let's get this set together for a nice a really important gig at ctmf and then from there it really just organically developed into what it is now and I mean within a within a few months we I mean we've gone to we got booked to play a really cool um, B10N party up in Kitchener's in Joburg those guys were great and then and poolside up there big day is for us at waiting room it's a big uppercut party and they've those guys have been good enough to us to allow us to release our our EP under those terms and, of that and, party and not not only that, they've, they, they've allowed us to collaborate with the record label which we started called um, Straight Fields, which is all about like pushing, pushing our own music basically and just, and just doing us mm. the way we know how to do it and hopefully we just grow and develop and it turns into something that inspires other people to go for what we're going for and we hopefully make it one day. So releasing all our tracks for the first time yeah. and I just I can't, I can't wait. So special. It's actually gonna be pretty cool to play a lot of these songs for the first time because or to, to even share these songs because we've been listening to it and showing our close friends and stuff and and now we're gonna get to kind of show it to everybody. So.
Um, we're at the waiting room and we're about to play in about 15 minutes. Um, and it's looking good. It's packed. We just uh, have to put our stuff out there tonight. Uh, I hope they dig it. We pretty much just played all of all our sounds possible, so from like straight hip hop beats to R and B to R and B and trap at the same time, so that in the future when we do release these projects, like there's no real surprise because who knows what we're gonna write next. You know, we could just do a straight beats project or we could just do an R and B thing. But the most important thing is not to really pigeonhole ourselves as those hip hop guys, even yeah. though we like hip hop. Our EP is available for download so just give it a listen yeah man thank you <laughs>